okay the sleeves have been fixed and then they attach the pleated drip then i'll be using this bow to decorate it this way okay the neckline will be aimed okay and you see how beautiful it is hello guys you are welcome to custom sewing venture once again if today is the first time of coming across my videos, I want to say you are highly welcome. And for all the returning subscribers, I appreciate your being here. Okay, today I will be cutting a flag. A three suit, 180 flag. It's 180 flag. Okay. And then, what do I do? I put my put my clothes on fold. Each time you are cutting, of course, your clothes should be on fold. So I will put in this first round. Okay, the next thing I fold it again, don't fold it. Make sure this well, well aligned. Okay, so I'll be working with the circumference of 18. 18. Okay, 18. And then this 18, I'll be dividing it into four. 18 to 4, 4 into 2. I have 9. 9 to 2. I have a 4 and a half. This is the easiest way to fold if you don't want to crack your head with calculation. But if you are a good mathematician, of course, you can quickly calculate it. Okay, all the same. You are welcome. So, from this end, now I'm going to get my 4 and a half. 4 and a half circumference. It's going to be like this. So, four and a half. You know, I'm not going to put any any extra because all this food will virtually give it up an extra. So, four and a half. Four and a half. Or if it could be on the silver side, you can make it five. So, I measure five here. Five here, five here. So I connect it. Okay. So the next thing I need the length, the length of the flag to be fourteen. So I measure my fourteen here. Okay, I make it 15. I still have enough material there. I make it 15. Make, measure it around like that 15. 15. So I connect my line to the dot. Okay, so the first thing I cut this one off. is inclusive in this 15. Okay. My 360 degree flare is ready. Can you see? So if you measure this now, you'll be getting about that shape you want. That's that about I'm the back panel for the upper panel of the dress. Okay, I will use this for the back and I will be mixing it with this plain fabric. Okay, so let's go. So the next thing we are going to do is that I will need about 10 inches for the length. 10 inches for the length. Okay, connect my 10 inches together here. Okay, let me use a straight. Sorry for the hand I use. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to create the zipper allowance measurement there. I take one and a half. One and a half. 
join one and a half together and that is where my measure the remaining measurement will be taken from okay So, you know, usually the, the shoulder is sloping. So, we need the measurement of the shoulder to be 4. 8 divided by 2 is a 4. I have 4 here. So, from this, I will take, is a baby dress, so I can take 0 0.05, 0 0.75 instead of 1. So, I connect it here. Then from there, I measure the shoulder line. Take about uh, four inches downwards, the baby dress. Okay. And then that's where I'm going to take my bust line from. I will need about a uh, I need about seven there. Seven here, plus we need another one, seven and a half. Then for the waist, I need about six and a half, plus we need another one, seven. Okay, so the next thing I join this to get my arm hook off. Okay, my arm hook then comes this way. Join the shoulder with the, this. So the next thing we're going to cut it out. Before we cut it, let's create the that the the that is just three inches in. See baby cloth, and so we cut it out now. Remember, I'm here to put the next circumference. You can measure your next circumference straight off. I will just use two and a half. You know, this is back. So I just need one inch depth. This place is cough. So I cut. If you are finding out my video helpful, don't hesitate to. Give it, give it a thumbs up, like it, share, and then subscribe. Click on that red subscribe button so that each, that each time I upload, you will always have yours. So we're going to open this, our zipper allowance. Then here, where the zipper allowance starts, you notch it so that you will know where you are going to tape it in. Then your dark area too, you, dark, you cut it, notch it, notch it rather, not cut, you notch it. Okay, so the back one is ready already. So we can just use this one to check the back to so cut this plane one two. You know, for the for the plain one there won't be zipper allowance. So I'll just take one of this one out to cut it. There's something missing, sorry. We are here to bring out the the neck circumference. Sorry about that. the the front panel of the upper panel now so I that I we can use this back panel to just trace it 
but you know the front doesn't have zipper so we don't need to create zipper allowance so what we just need to do is uh, mark this okay now what i'm going to do here is that i'm not going to shape the neck here i'm just going to mark it so the type of neck design you want is what i'm going to put so i just all i need just to trace this trace it this way trace the this there be mindful of the the darks here so i cut it so the neck here i just notch it i won't trace it so it depends on the neck the non i want so i just need the round neck anyway just about two inches downwards my dots that I created there and not it. sets okay the front the back is set so what is the next thing i'm going to do I'm okay i will i'll be putting a drape a pleated drape on the flare so all i need is to it depends on how how large how wide you want it to be and how long you want it to be all i need is just about uh, five and a half inches long or wide sorry wide and then the the length i need is about uh, seven so i have 19 and a half inches here so by the time i pleat it all i need is a uh, seven inches wideness okay i will leave about an inch for the taping because i'm going to use it to sew into the main body so then i form the pleats just about half an inch you are going to press it you are going to iron it but before that let me just pin it Let your pleating touch the end of the first pleating. Okay, the pleating is complete. Look at how it is. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, measure here. All I need, I told you, is about seven inches wideness. So I have, uh, I have seven and a half. Let's say I have eight here. So one inch to this side, one inch to this side. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have a slopey kind of pleating so here i will need five and a half and then here i need four so i slant it So I cut it through. So 
this side is going to be and this side will stay on the completed dress I'm going to fix it this way it's going to come out this way okay let's go let's go and iron it and stitch together okay the the flare has been joined because there is deeper we extend to this place so what are we going to do how do we attach our drip our pitted drip okay look at where the center of the zip which is this place okay so the dress will be attached this way this is the straight side of it here but this place is uh, the straight side okay so we we are going to attach it this way this one should be folded in if, so that it can have a little head so fix it and of course this place is going to have a folded in but if you decide to run your whipping or interlocking you can use interlocking to decorate it you can use interlocking for this or you can leave it this doesn't bring us wool so the next thing i put the upper panel on it it's going to come out beautifully okay, let's get to the machine